This is Twit. All right, this next one is a is very much a power user feature that I think uh, folks are going to kind of ooh and ah for sure. Um, and I am curious to hear uh, how you make use of Bluetooth devices with your iPad. Yes, folks, you can yeah. use Bluetooth devices with your iPad, or I should say Bluetooth input devices with your iPad. Yes, yes, uh, Bluetooth input devices, though, you know, Bluetooth speakers work as well. Um, but uh, I'm sure more people are familiar with the idea of connecting a Bluetooth keyboard with their iPad because that's been around for quite a long time. Logitech used to be pretty much the only people selling iPad keyboards. I remember I had a great one for, I think it was the original iPad mini. It was a flat keyboard with a little wet, like a uh, slot in it and you could put the iPad in there and then the slot like tilted at a certain angle, but it slid on like a smart cover the whole thing was kind of crazy but it, it was great and i miss that device if logitech make them again then somebody please let me know because i'd love that for my new ipad mini but nowadays you can connect more than just a keyboard you could connect for example a bluetooth midi device to garage band or similar but you can also connect a good old-fashioned mouse uh to your ipad and go ahead and use it um so this uh for context people is a logitech mx uh master 3 um which charges via usb c it's the same as the ipad quite handy and I just paired this to my iPad using Bluetooth. Um, so inside of the settings, I opened up the, the Bluetooth options, put the mouse into pairing mode, it popped up, and then I tap pair. And now, whoops, uh, I have uh, the ability to just mouse around my iPad. Anybody watching the video will notice there's a little sort of dark gray uh, circle that is moving around as I move my mouse and that that's the cursor. But if I mouse over something, for example, um, if I were going into, and I'll pick drafts for this because I know this works really well, um, if I mouse over one of the buttons, then it changes um, the area behind it and it changes the actual cursor itself, which is really handy so that you can actually, you know, keep an eye on where your cursor is. But there's more you can do, and this is actually the inspiration for this show. Last week in the Club Twitch chat room, somebody was asking, hey, universal control's cool, but how do I change the scroll direction of my mouse? Turns out there's a bunch of things that you can change related to your mouse, and if you've got a trackpad, for example, through the Magic Keyboard or Bluetooth mouse connected to your iPad, then these definitely show up in settings under general uh, trackpad and mouse and then you can do things like disable natural scrolling which i'm sure for some people feels anything less than natural and then that will uh, change the direction of how the scroll wheel works to be more windows like for example um or uh, how it used to be before mac implemented natural scrolling and broke everyone's brains a bit uh, for trackpads there's also tap to click and two finger secondary click and then you can also specify um, what the secondary click on your device does so if you look at a mouse then you've got obviously the left mouse button and the right mouse button we are in the modern world where even mac mice have more than one button at, depending on how many fingers you click and you can specify what the second one should do so if i am on my home screen then nothing happens here but if i right click on something in my dock which is a bad example because um that is uh, behind my picture. There we go, I'll click on Safari. Um, then it gives you the context menu, which is the same menu that pops up when you tap and hold. Um, and it's worth noting that there are a couple of other things that you can do with this as well. If you pop into the accessibility settings, now you might be going, wait, accessibility settings yeah accessibility settings under pointer control there's some things that you can you can do so for example increase your contrast making it darker um, you could um, you know increase the size of it so if you want it to be pretty large then you can do that or shrink it back down and you can adjust your scrolling speed uh, but there's more there's more Micah mm -hmm. which I'm I, I, I mean I I, I love this um, so uh, I believe it's under assistive touch, and I'm going to get this wrong. Um, but there is the option under mouse keys. So accessibility, assistive touch, uh, or touch assistive touch, mouse keys. You need to turn this on, but then you can actually go ahead and you'll be able to uh, turn on various different things with this. Um, or is it not mouse keys and I'm remembering things incorrectly? Um, I've, I've forgotten where this is, Micah. Oh, dear. I, 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 I don't changed it just either. before the show custom not custom gestures custom gestures would allow you to do uh for example things like drawing a specific uh direction and then having that do a thing so uh you can make that happen which is quite similar to say the custom logitech options but there are some more options which 
Ah, here we go. Sorry, devices. Under devices, then you can customize additional buttons. Now, the Logitech MX Master, the one that I've picked for today's show, I picked because it's got about 11,000 buttons on here, including one uh, right between the two mouse buttons below the scroll wheel, uh, which actually adjusts the scroll information. But there's one underneath the thumb pad. There's uh, two on the side, right next to the horizontal scroll and all sorts. So if I press one of these buttons, then I can then customize what this does. So I can say, for example, that it should do a tap and hold or reveal the dock. So now I tap this and it shows my dock and it hides my dock. And that's just a button on my mouse opening and closing the dock that's for me. Awesome. So it is worth checking these things out because I know that a lot of people think, oh, accessibility settings, like I don't, I don't need accessibility settings. You can th change things like the minimum font size on your device and shrink the font size a bit more if you wanted to. Though as a warning, some apps may perform slightly weirdly or look a bit odd with that. But there's so much in assistive touch that you can change, which I really like. Yes, I agree. Uh, again, that's settings, general accessibility. Well, I guess it just you jump straight to accessibility. Um, mm -hmm. And then that section is under devi is devices under the uh, pointer devices heading. So um, yeah. yeah, you can go in and, and set that up exactly how you want it. And I love uh, having those extra shortcut keys if we need to oh, yeah. uh, to use those.